So for part B, um, we now want y. I want to find out what y is. So y is equal to r sine theta. And so we have e to the 2 theta sine theta. And we're going to differentiate that one, as we did before. So using a product rule, um, I'm writing, I'm differentiating the first one and writing the second one down. I'm writing down the first one and differentiating the second. And there's a plus in the middle this time here. So very similar. I know there's a bit of shine there, but you know what that says. Uh, very similar, just uh, factorize out the e to the 2 theta. This time we've got 2 sine theta plus cos theta. Of course, that doesn't equal 0 again. So we've just got 2 sine theta equals minus cos theta. And so tan theta equals minus a half going through around there. And so the inverse tan of minus a half is minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4636. Now I paused there because I'm a little bit worried about that one. Um, in the actual question, does it not say that? Yeah, the angle, the angle's got to be from zero to from zero to pi. So I've got the wrong answer to the tan. How do you get your second answer on the tan? Well, you just add pi to it, don't you? So um, if I do that, add pi, I'm then getting 2.6779. Um, 2.68. So going to have to take note of the range of these things as well. OK, finally finishing it off, sticking that back in the original thing, which has gone off the top of the page there, but it was e to the 2 theta. And that's, oh, wow, that's giving 211.85. And at the angle was 2.68. Um, there's part B.